Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. We're here at uh, our new property. So there's been a lot of requests to do like a new property reveal. I don't know if this is really that video or not, but it kind of is. So here we are. Here's Ashley looking cute. <laughs> uh, we were just down in town picking up the general. I dropped the Polaris general off and I got the trailer there but I unloaded it down here. Uh, I dropped it off to get the heater kit installed, which I just hear is a bear and nobody wants to do it, so I had someone else do it for me. And the hydraulic actuator thingy for the snowplow. So I'll show you that, but I just unloaded it because we're gonna drive it around the property and kinda show you what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're here in Colorado, you can tell. A bunch of snow on the ground. Uh, we haven't broken ground yet on the new build, but here's some dirt that the engineers came and dug up to take like soil samples and do all that stuff. Stuff's going on. I've been working on the build, uh, the floor plans and everything, and here's the general. So we'll hop in here and drive around. So what we got are the winch, but actually we got the new winch that has the, oops, that has the wireless controller now. So we have that and the rapid rope recovery. So that, then the heater kit, which has these vents, four vents, and then the defrosters for the windshield. And then this guy here, which is the plow control, which I can show you later, but once the plow's on, I can tilt it and angle it and all that stuff. Um, yeah, but we'll just get going now. So, I didn't think this through. There's more snow down here than I thought, so we may be winching ourselves back up here. <laughs> um, okay, anyway, down here. Well, some super poor planning on my part. Uh, we're not totally stuck, but we may we may be stuck. So uh, I got a winch and stuff, but I don't have a whole lot of recovery stuff with me because we were gonna take just a casual little drive around the property. My bad. Anyway, yeah, apparently there's like two feet of snow down here. So didn't really bring prepared. It was kind of spur of the moment. But there's a little creek down here. And then it goes up there. Uh, a couple of the neighbors have like some ponds and stuff. And I'll probably walk around and see where we can get. So this will kind of be the backyard of our house that'll come down uh, into these trees and into this little kind of meadow uh, and creek down here, uh, which is one of our favorite parts about the property. And then yeah, if we can get back up over the hill where the, the tremor was parked, I'll show you uh, kind of the rest of the property and kind of the plans for over there. Well, 
consider me impressed. <laughs> I thought there was no way we were getting out of that, like, two feet of snow. So, this was, if, if you don't know, this is, like, my first time, like, actually getting this out of my neighborhood. So, onto my new neighborhood. So, stoked. Stoked we were able to get out of there. On our right, you'll see our build site, actually, where our house is staked out. So, this will be our backyard to the right. And then our front yard has this, this view out here. Uh, so the front is very open and no trees, which is part of Ashley really wanting horses. And maybe, maybe a cow. So this here is kind of like the middle of our property uh, and this is where all of the kind of grazing, grazing land will be, yeah. Hi truck. Ooh, so glad I didn't get stuck down there. I would have felt like such a noob. The snow was up like above the sliders though, so it was it was quite deep. Good job, General. Give it a pat. <laughs> Ashley was like, we're not getting out of here. <laughs> she was wondering how long the winch line was to winch out. Anyway, so yeah, here it is. Not any kind of crazy awesome views necessarily anything but nice wooded area nice open space uh, relatively we're actually closer to town than my current house which is nice in a lot of ways uh, some nice big trees and a little creek in the back so it checks off a bunch of boxes and I'm gonna build a house and a big big old barn shop garage thing to park my ever-growing fleet of vehicles so Ashley was making fun of me about that calling me extra but I'm excited about it because I don't have a great place to film that kind of stuff right now just like in my driveway so it'll be nice to have a, a place and this is quieter there's no uh, roads going by like at my current house there's a road like 50 feet from where I film videos, so there's always cars driving by and it's kind of annoying, so this will be nice. This will be nice. What do you guys, what do you guys think? What do you think, Ashley? I love it, I'm super excited. So yeah, this is a super small, short, random video to say, hey, here's our property. There's not much to show, but I will be giving you guys updates as kind of the build process moves along and we do cool stuff here. So probably do some more like homesteading stuff and just have a better place to do everything. Get some goats probably. Ashley wants, go a Ashley wants basically all the farm animals now. On Instagram, she just sends me like reels of <laughs> like donkeys and goats and cows and horses, so. We may just start a full-on farm out here. I don't know. I don't know. Sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's going to end this sh super short random update video. Uh, but until next time, guys, take care. So you just get these guys to line up there, and then this clips in up here. And that's it. Then you connect the hydraulics and connect the winch hook to here. So yeah, then from here, on the little grip, I can do all this stuff. Ooh. So then that's all just controlled with this guy. Winch up and down, and then angled left and right. <laughs>